Eyewitness Sports right now. The Utica Comets have regained some momentum and they're looking to keep it going tonight. Utica just finished a three days in three games over this past weekend. And in those three games in three days, they got five of a possible six points. And over the past six games, the Comets have earned 11 of a possible 12 points. So that's helped them stay in first place in the North Division. It's also coincided with the team getting a lot of their players back, including goalie Nico Dawes, who's been influential at the net all season when he's active back from injury. Now, over his past four games, he has three wins and one overtime loss, so a point in each. And also today, a move for the roster as well. As the New Jersey Devils hit the all-star break, they have sent defenseman Colton White back to the Comets, who the last two games he played here in Utica had three points. So he's been a contributor on the offensive side as well. Tonight, Utica looks to keep it going with two games against the Laval Rocket. And that is going to be tonight and on Friday. The Comets are 2-1-0-0 against the Rockets so far this season. And it's taken at least four goals for the teams to get a win over one another this year. So we can expect maybe a high-scoring contest tonight at home. Comets, of course, still in first place in the division. Laval Rocket in the middle of the pack this season. And starting with tonight, the Comets play five of their next six games at home. So a good chance for them to capitalize, especially on special teams, where the Comets at home have the second best power play in the entire league. As always, puck drops at 7 tonight, and you can catch this home game and every home game on our sister station, WPNY. Other ice hockey games going on tonight. Clinton girls ice hockey plays in the Section 3 finals tonight. The top seed Warriors host two seed Skinny Atlas in a rematch of the last sectional finals, which were back in 2020. Clinton had topped Skinny Atlas that year, winning its first sectional title, then eventually going on to win its first ever state title as well. They're looking to defend. The defense continues this evening. Warriors have one win and one loss, or one tie rather, against the Lakers this season. And it's win or go home tonight for both of these teams. The puck drop will be at 7 o'clock. It's at Cicero Twin Rinks. In boys ice hockey this evening, a little closer, the Mohawk Valley Jugglers play a rare game close to home. The combined boys team, which is run by Notre Dame High School this year, hosts Baldwinsville at 7 o'clock. That'll be at JFK Arena in Rome. Then in girls basketball tonight, RFA plays at Whitesboro at 7. Proctor is at FM at 7.15. The sectional seating meeting for basketball boys and girls is two weeks from today. And then girls basketball last night, a note that Notre Dame hosted Oneida. Oneida with a recent state ranking after not being ranked so far this season. It was the Section 3 Tri-Valley League matchup. Both teams looking for the Pioneer Division title. It was a one-point game in the fourth quarter. Then Notre Dame went on an 11-point run to win by six. It's the Jugglers' first league title since 2014. And that's the year when Emily Durr led the team to a 24-3 overall record and a state championship. And then last night in soccer, Utica City FC played at Ontario, a loss by 10 goals. Close game to start, but outscored 10-2 in the second half, so the city is now 2-9 and nine overall. So for now, that's all for sports, but go check out cnyhomepage.com for all your top sports stories. We'll, of course, have highlights from tonight's Comets game and the Clinton Girls Varsity Ice Hockey sectional finals on Eyewitness News first at 10 on WFXV, and then back here on WUTR at 11. Until then, everyone, there's more Eyewitness News after the break, and as always, stay friendly and stay tuned.